Hey, what's good? It's just Gems. I wanted to bring a video about the number one culture vulture that we have uh, leeching off of our talented black entertainment. He is very known and, and infamous for having our talented brothers go on his show and he asks them questions that lead them to talk about criminal acts they may have committed previously or could currently be committing. Now, of course, we don't advocate that any of them still be committing crimes or anything like that. But some, you know, some people do those activities, especially while they're up and coming rappers, because they're trying to pay for their you know music career they're trying to pay for their family because they don't have it yet but they're trying to get it well either way you know he asked them leading questions and you know smiles and you know talks them right into a rico case or you know or, or leads them right to their death as they leave and he instigates a bunch of beef with people that you know they already have problems with and then he wants to vlad wants to talk about it and have them expound on it or rehash old beefs and, and all of that so it's amazing that people still go on there but you know a lot of people look at it as an opportunity because vlad has five million subscribers but i want to challenge our our brothers and our entertainment um you know our, our celebrities that are entertainers man to think about building up your own platforms um or going to some of the the brothers that we already have that may have under a million subs that may be on their way 200,000 subs um i know we have urban politicians tv he has over a hundred thousand subs you can go on there and talk to him be high atl he has 250 some odd thousand subs i believe uh, even who else do we have say cheese tv is right under a million subs and even even tasha k tasha k has a million subs and she interviewed kwame brown she's venturing out from you know just gossiping to actually interviewing people and you know we, if we only started if say our black celebrities start interviewing only with these black uh these black sites just imagine how much traction that they'll get to these sites and how fast they will get built up you know they might not have the million subs now but if our entertainers start going to those sites exclusively those youtubers exclusively then the traction is going to cause their platforms to get larger so if we could start thinking more as a collective and not just about me 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 then we could build up our own spaces and even some of these rappers they got homeboys that may have felonies that can't do different things have them start a youtube page up you interview with your homeboy have start sending your people that you uh that you mess with you know other artists that you mess with them send them to your homeboy's page and build up his platform but I just pray that we all just get a more collective mindset and not just me, me, me. Um, you know, because there are black pages out there, you know, and I don't know these people, so I don't know, you know, how they operate or anything. But it's worth checking into if you just going, you know, well, we know how Vlad operates and people still go on there knowing, you know, the types of questions he may ask the spotlights are on on these rappers and sometimes when people are nervous or excited they just get to talking and talking and you don't want to look like you weak especially if you're just being exposed to such a large platform you don't have that type of audience watching and listening to you any other time so you want to look like yeah hey, i'm the big man yeah i didn't kill somebody yeah don't try me because you know i'm a I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not nobody to play with and my crew ain't to be played with. So they get on there and do all that. And before you know it, they've, they've admitted to 
to being on the scene in places they they shouldn't have been in. So I just, you know, I just hope people see Vlad for who he is and just not see him, but also just just decide, you know what, I'm not going on there. Put me on somebody else's show. Or again, build your own platform with your own name um, and have somebody else run it for you and interview you, interview your, uh, your, your people. Or, you know what I'm saying? Or let them put your homeboys on. We all know, you know, a lot of some of these homeboys that uh, have a great personality. They funny. And, you know what I'm saying? Let them sit down and, and, and build them a channel. You know, get them a studio for that. But we've got to start thinking about each other. And not just, it's all about me. And what's going to help me, only me. You know, once you get there and you, you got you've made it you got millions of dollars come up with a way to help your fellow brethren your your boys instead of having to take care of them find them a way for them to eat like i say the youtube page especially with you know a certain celebrity endorsing it that you know that'll blow right up but it's time out for going on vlad you know at some point we have to kind of get codified and, and you know we allowed him to disrespect the uh, Farrakhan, and you know whether you're Muslim or not. I'm personally not, but it, it's like we, no matter who they disrespect or, or or no matter what, we it just seems like we can't come together as a collective and, and put a stop to any anything. You know, it's always got to be some coon, some of us that's gonna say, oh no, nah, he's all good. Oh no, nah, we don't. Nah, they tripping, Vlad. They tripping. You know, you cool people. Come on, man. You know. So, that's where we are. But, personally, I just... I hope people wake up and start building our own platforms or just doing our own thing. But, let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure you like the video. Uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And, yeah, stay tuned. And I'll be posting again soon. Thanks. Peace.